December. Whenever I think of December, there are two sides to it. Firstly, it's Christmas time, end of the semester, but with that comes final exams. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword, but there is a silver lining. This week is all about preparing for finals week. I've got a ton of labs and essays to write, even though I also need to be starting to study for my exams. It's Monday today, and my first final is this week on Saturday. Following that, they're all kind of spaced out two, three days in between exams. And so I have six exams until December 20th. I'm gonna need to make a finals game plan, study plan. Otherwise, it might not go well at all. creeping on me like the amount that is coming up is really overwhelming so whenever I get overwhelmed I write things down this is my method of preparing for finals and it's worked for me first semester and second semester of last year so I'll list out all the dates of my exams and the, here's the crucial thing to plan exactly what you're gonna do during the empty days. The way my finals are structured, it's impossible to study for one topic only, so you're gonna have to multitask. The goal is to review the content or catch up even. Go through all of the content once so that it's in your head, and then as your exam is approaching, do more practice. This applies especially to my science and math classes, but for my ethics class, that's not gonna work as well. It's really important to have been reading and discussing all the concepts throughout the semester. I don't think cramming is gonna work. So for that one, I'm just gonna familiarize myself with the concepts and try to draw connections between different articles and my personal opinions and also ethical frameworks. But first off, let me write down the assignments I have to finish, including my ethics paper, my physics lab, my aerodynamics, microfluidics lab, and key transfer first law of thermodynamics lab report also do all this week so let me try to get that out of the way as fast as i can and then i can get on studying for my first exam which is modern waves and quantum mechanics that's one class
I've been working on my lab report with my partner for hours now. We're getting a little closer to finishing, but there's still so much to write. It's due tonight, so we're gonna keep working on it until we finish. Getting my dinner now as a little break. submitted my physics lab report on interferometers and it's now 12.20 p- 12.20 a.m. I'm gonna go right to sleep. I'd rather wake up earlier tomorrow morning than stay up late and do my other assignment. Okay, I was in the middle of reading my paper, but I got a notification that my package is here. So, of course, we're gonna go and get it. So my friend recently went to Korea and she got me a few things and she sent it to me and I'm so thankful. I don't know what it is about little pouches that just bring me so much joy. It's like this handcrafted mini pouch. like. It's so functional. She also got me a phone case, much needed because I recently dropped my phone and broke my back camera, which was not fun. Yeah, I couldn't take pictures of like the blackboard or take any videos for a while because I was also procrastinating getting it fixed. The repair person, the first time they said they were gonna take at least three to five business days to fix it. So I was like, I gotta pick a week where I literally don't need my phone. And I realized that's never gonna happen. I just kept procrastinating. So then I went in and they had fixed it within three hours. Moral of the story, don't drag things out if you know you're gonna have to do it eventually. Also, look at this bag that she sent me as well. If you're watching this, I love you. It's the little things like these that make preparing for finals enjoyable and helps fuel me to keep going. Hot cocoa has been my newest obsession because it's December and I want something nice and warm while I write my ethics paper. Which, by the way, I'm gonna get back to doing that. This might sound a little odd, but my secret ingredient to making my hot cocoa thicken up a little bit is to put a heaping spoonful of Greek yogurt. And then I use my whisk and mix it up and this really makes it thicker and blends the flavor together. Hey everyone, today we're gonna go to a cafe, study for my two finals that I have back to back. Finished two already. I have two coming up tomorrow and the day after. And the following week, I have my last two for ECE, digital systems, and my aerospace course. That's my last one. Honestly, finals week is just studying all day. For everyone out there who's also in their final season, I hope everyone is studying and managing their stress well. 